Hello and welcome. Hi folks, thank you for joining us. I'm gonna give it just another moment before we officially begin. So feel free to settle in and we'll get started soon. Wonderful, I see more people have joined. We're gonna give it just another few seconds before we officially get started, but thank you for being here. Okay, excellent. Well, welcome. Uh, this is Archbishop Midi High School's virtual college fair, um, and this is our third session for the day. So we're excited. We're excited. So many of you are um, sharing your last session with us today. We have a really great lineup of colleges and universities here in this session um, that are, you know, these these reps who are here to share more about opportunities at their institution. Um, so before we jump into that, I just have a few housekeeping items. One um, is your camera and microphone are actually off so you're muted and your video's off so our panelists can't see or hear you but they definitely want to hear from you so please be sure to submit any questions um, using our q a feature um, which should be on the control panel for your zoom um, you should see that little q a and it looks like two little chat boxes. Um, our reps are here to answer any questions that you have, um, and there's no designated uh, question and answer portion. So um, feel free to start asking questions as soon as now, and all the way up through the end of the, the session. We definitely want this to be a session that's all about you. Um, so ask, ask questions. Um, I know that our reps wanna talk to you. Um, and then, uh, don't forget to sign up for, for more sessions. There might be another another day as part of this virtual college fair. Um, but all of our sessions are actually being recorded. So even if you missed other sessions, um, you're interested uh, in seeing this recording again, um, you wanted to, to get into more of the information for the schools one more time, you will be able to access a recording of this session at strivescan.com slash archbishop dash midi. So that's all I have. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and introduce our first uh, university, which is Pacific University, Oregon. Hey, everyone. Um, my name is Donna Ramos Barsana. I'm the Associate Director of Admissions for Pacific University, Oregon. Um, we are actually located in a town called Forest Grove, Oregon. We're about 30 minutes from downtown Portland, um, an hour away from the coast, and about 15 minutes from what we like to call our Silicon Forest. So you'd be able in the big city, what, what a lot of cities are, where a lot of restaurants, concerts, sporting events, everything that makes a city great, Voodoo Donuts, Salt and Straw, all those really great places and an hour away from the Oregon coast where you'll be able to experience things like sea kayaking, surfing, um, backpacking trips, climbing, crabbing, everything that makes the coast really great and awesome. And as well, we're located only 10 minutes from the nearest lake and five minutes from the nearest trail. We're located 15 minutes from what we like to call the Silicon Forest, where major companies like the Nike World Headquarters, Intel Headquarters, Columbia, and satellite campuses for major companies, uh, as well as like Microsoft, Amazon, and those types of things. So really centrally located. Um, we have just under 4,000 students attending our school, 65 different undergraduate programs, 31 graduate programs, 10 to one faculty student ratio. Our average class size is 19, 70 plus different clubs, and 26 study abroad programs. So I know when students are trying to figure out, okay, which um, kind of major I'm going to be participating in. It's kind of one of the more scarier questions that you'll experience right now, because it's, it's like one of those things where how do I know what I want to study if I haven't experienced much yet? And throwing a pandemic, it's making things even more um, anxiety driven and overwhelming. So we have a really cool class called Essentials of Human Knowledge, where we bring all the professors from all the academic disciplines. They come to your class and they talk about every single major and what you could do with them. So we have different kinds of majors that are listed here, and as well as pre-professional tracks in health professions. So as a Pacific student, if you're interested in things like athletic training, pharmacy, audiology, dentistry, 
dental hygiene, um, psychology, medicine, occupational therapy, optometry, pharmacy, PT, and PA, we have the Advantage Scholar Program that gives you a guaranteed interview into any one of our doctorate schools. And we have a 92% acceptance rate from our undergrad into these programs. So as you look at some of the different things that we've been um, kind of known for, one thing to note is that we are a 414 semester system. So in that Jan term, you could either be at home for an extended holiday break, you'd be able to take the class Monday through Friday, it's already included in your tuition, or the third option is to go abroad for one entire month. We have a four-year graduation guarantee. So as long as you declare your major, by the end of your sophomore year, it gives you two years, you're guaranteed to get out in four years, if you take 4.5 or five years, we actually pay for your tuition, which is a really nice safety net. And 93% of our graduates have an, a career internship or grad program within the year of graduating, 82% within six months. And so here are some of the different clubs that you can be part of. The average student at Pacific is involved in three things outside their major. It only takes six students to create a club. So if there's something that's not listed here in Greek life, student media, advocacy, academic clubs, culture and religious clubs, as well as sports and recreational, you can create a club on your own. We have different sports. We're a division three school. So you would just go to goboxers.com, look for your particular sport and find the coach and CC me in any communication so that I can support you with getting recruited for a particular sport. We're Nike sponsored from head to toe and all of your travel expenses and meals and equipment is completely covered by our school. If you're interested in things like music education, music, music therapy, theater and dance majors, um, you're able to participate in these programs, even if you don't major in it. We have a scholarship ranging between five to $6,000 per year just for participating in these programs. If you're interested, every single student today is gonna to get a free application to Pacific. You won't have to pay to apply through the common application. I will require the common application, the essay, a letter of recommendation, your official transcript, and we are test score optional and will continue to be that way throughout, um, our, your, throughout the years now with the pandemic and even beyond. So every single student now has a merit scholarship once they're accepted. They receive a minimum $15,000 scholarship per year, and it goes all the way to $27,000 per year, dependent upon your application, transcript, essay, and letter of recommendation, as well as activities. So it can fall anywhere between that. We have talent-based scholarships in band, dance, choir, theater, STEM, philosophy, robotics, art studio, and world language, ranging again between $500 to $6,000 per year. They're all stackable and we accept all outside scholarships. The main thing I wanna mention with our events is our senior preview day. So if you're a senior here today, we have senior preview days every Friday in the fall, as well as virtual opportunities on a Saturday. All seniors will get a guaranteed $4,000 merit scholarship. That's $1,000 every single year towards their education, just to visit our campus, hear from professors, current students, participate in a tour, hear from financial aid, a really big jam-packed day but you get a guaranteed scholarship every single year. So if you like what you heard and want to learn, um, would like to learn more, you can reach out to me. I'm the one who's going to be reviewing your application. There's my email and my phone number and direct line and look forward to working with each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much to Pacific University, Oregon. Next up, we have St. Mary's College of California. Hi, everyone, and good evening. My name is Jenna Chirino. I serve as the Associate Director of Admissions um, for St. Mary's College of California. Um, I also work with all students from throughout San Jose and Santa Clara County, and I work specifically with students from MIDI. Um, I was just at MIDI today, so I might have actually been speaking with you a couple hours ago. Um, so uh, I'd love to introduce St. Mary's in so many ways. I know we have such limited time together because there's so many incredible things to say. Um, St. Mary's notably is one of the colleges that change lives. It's a consortium of 45 liberal arts colleges across the United States that are dedicated to a student-centered college search process, um, meaning that fit is the most important thing um, when it comes for you to looking at a school, finding a place that's going to fit um, and offer you everything that you're looking for in the college experience. St. Mary's is located not too far from you all, so literally about an hour up 680. Um, we're in Moraga, which is sandwiched between um, Walnut Creek on the, west, the east of us, and then west of us is Berkeley, um, about 15 minutes. We're about 40 minutes directly east of San Francisco, so in 
incredibly accessible to not only your hometown um, to come visit, but when it comes down to internships, um, the Bay Area being one of the most innovative and diverse places in the country is something that's incredibly beneficial for students, regardless of your major. Um, we're a smaller school, so about 2,600 undergraduates make up our campus this year. Um, it's a very residential community. Most students do live on campus for all four years. Um, so what's really nice is that it does have that home away from home kind of experience. Um, so our students really make the most out of their four years through clubs and service, study abroad, sports. Um, we do guarantee housing for the first two years, and we require our first year students to live on campus. Um, so community is really at our core, getting involved, really um, not being an anonymous student on our campus is something that's really important to the four year experience. Um, academically, we do have a core liberal arts curriculum. So just as you're going to be pursuant in your major throughout all four years, you're going to be also exploring classes within the liberal arts. So the humanities, the sciences, the creative studies, really getting a full and very comprehensive background. Um, the liberal arts essentially means freedom from narrow thinking. So really walking away with having so many opportunities to engage your mind intellectually um, transforms your perspective, regardless of whatever career um, you do pursue. Uh, liberal arts educations are also rooted in mentorship and collaboration. Um, so discussion-based style classes are definitely um, what we're distinctive for. St. Mary's is a Catholic LaSallian institution. So our principles were derived from the work of Jean-Baptiste de LaSalle, who was known as the revolutionary patron saint of teachers. He really opened up the doors for access to education, um, boldly stating that education should not just be for the privileged because it's not a privilege, it should be a right and a guarantee. Um, so our core principles exist around inclusion, um, inclusive community, respect for all, um, and social justice and civic engagement. Um, we do a very diverse student body in every single way, um, which I'll share in the next slide, including spiritually as well. Um, and we are notable for our athletics. We are small but mighty in um, the West Coast Conference. So we have 16 Division I men's and women's sports. We compete at the highest level in the West Coast Conference. Um, we're pretty notable for, for sports like um, like our men's and women's basketball team who consecutively compete in March Madness almost every single year. Our men's rugby team took the national championship title from Cal Berkeley the last two years back to back. Um, and right now, San Francisco playing the Dodgers. Um, I know there's a game tonight. The pitcher of the Dodgers, um, hopefully you'll love him a little bit more after this. He actually is a St. Mary's grad, Tony Gonsolin. We also over have 60 different clubs and organizations. Um, so there's a ton to get involved with extracurricularly. Um, all of our clubs are student run, um, including 23 club and intramural sports. My favorite question is what's a typical St. Mary's student like and what student does well at the campus. Um, there is no typical St. Mary's student. We all come from different walks of life. We all look very different. We all um, believe differently and coexist in a way and in a community that's values inclusion, um, that values inclusion. Um, we have about 57% of our students identifying as BIPOC, a student of color, or multicultural. 31% um, of our student population is the first in their family to attend college. And nearly 30% of our students are Pell eligible, meaning receiving um, significant financial aid. And 54%, so over half of our student population, does identify as a religion other than Catholic. So um, students are really excited about difference and excited to explore um, a community within their um, or with their peers that are just as invested in doing the same. We have 43 different academic programs. These are all Bachelor of Arts and all Bachelor of Science degree offerings. Our average class size for all of our majors is 19 students per class, and we don't have any classes that exceed 30 students in a course. So again, really stemming on discussion um, and interaction between students and faculty. There are no impacted programs and we do not have any teaching assistance. All of our courses are faculty taught and 97% of our faculty have earned their PhD or their postdoctoral degree in their field. One of our really unique academic experiences is collegiate seminar. It's a course every year that students take for one semester that encompasses the study of the great books. So in a Socratically style um, or Socratically taught course, um, so seminar style classes, students are reading, writing, discussing, debating some of the greatest works of our time period from um, throughout literature, philosophy, ethics, uh, science, political theory, um, and then students will be discussing the great books in a contextual manner uh, in ways that we connect with them through the 21st lens of the uh, 21st century lens. 
January term is a one month long course in the month of January where students have the chance to either take a class on campus or do a domestic or um, service based or international study abroad. Um, really a way to transform your sense of global citizenship, whether you're taking a class on campus, exploring a topic of study that you're curious about, or traveling somewhere where you've always wanted to go. I definitely recommend going online to the website to explore the full list of Jan term classes. We have two application deadlines. Right now we're in early action admissions. Um, a decision will be guaranteed by the end of December. We just require your um, St. Mary's application or the Common App. This will waive the application fee this year. So for any seniors um, and then your high school transcript and letter of recommendation, we are test optional. Yeah. And I know I just have a couple of seconds. We are out of time, yeah. Great. All right, we, we do also offer scholarships up to $31,000 renewable annually automatically at the time that you apply. So definitely get those applications in. They'll be considered for um, a tremendous amount of aid inclusive of other scholarships too. Thank you so much, St. Mary's University. And next up, we have Seattle University. Hello, everyone. It's so nice to be here today. I'm dropping a link in the chat as well as some contact information. And I am gonna jump in. Hello, my name is Adrian Hodes, and this is Seattle University. Um, we are a Jesuit Catholic university located right in the heart of Seattle, right up the hill from downtown in a really cool intersection of neighborhoods. Students that apply and eventually attend Seattle U are looking for the best of all worlds. Not only do they deeply value being a part of a really close knit campus community, you can't walk from more than from one side of campus to another in more than 15 minutes and you're definitely gonna run into people you know, um, but your professors are there because they're deeply committed to teaching and supporting you. Um, we also are walking distance from some of the city's best locations. So you can spend all day in class and then walk three blocks off campus and see your favorite band perform on a Thursday night. Um, so that's a really cool combination of things. Um, I like to introduce Seattle U in the context of our mission. We're very much a mission-driven institution. Um, at Seattle University, we're dedicated to educating the whole person, to professional formation, and empowering leaders for a just and humane world. Um, what does that mean specifically at Seattle U? First, my favorite way I've heard it described is a professor that says, I walk with you as you ask those bigger questions. Who am I? What's important to me? How do I wanna be known? And what impact do I wanna make? That is Seattle U in a nutshell. That is what your peers and your professors are gonna be asking. Um, and it's really possible through our core curriculum, which is a sequence of 12 courses with everything from a writing requirement to a math requirement, a science requirement to an ethics requirement. Classes like, can we fix healthcare? What does it mean to be American today? Art for social change and so much more. We're also very spoiled with our location. We can't talk about Seattle University without talking about the city of Seattle. Um, companies like Amazon, Starbucks, um, Big Fish, Redfin, and so many more call Seattle home. So not only are you in very close proximity for those internships, but if you look at the four-year plan for any of our majors, just about every program has some type of internship clinical experience or research opportunity that sets you up well for your professional career. Um, and finally, we empower leaders for a just and humane world. Issues of justice, ethics, and equity is integrated into everything we do. We'll be the first of the Jesuit schools to fully divest from fossil fuels. Um, we have been pesticide free since the 1990s and through our student leadership, we have banned the sale of plastic water bottles on campus. Um, so that's just an example and a general intro of who we are. Now let's talk academics. Some things to know about us. First, we are direct entry in the admissions process. Um, so if you know what you wanna do, we're gonna review you specifically for that major. With that said, it's okay not to know. The exception is nursing. We do have to apply directly to nursing. However, we have a really unique program, three major studies for undecided and undeclared students to explore exactly what they wanna do. It's an advising department with advisors that are just there to walk you through the discernment process of picking a major that makes sense. Um, I mentioned the University Corps. I think that's a really special part of who we are. We also have a University Honors Program that is a march through history. Um, it's cohorts of 18 students. Instead of written exams, they have oral exams. Um, and it creates a really strong, close-knit, rigorous academic community within our larger campus. 
Um, regardless of your major, you're gonna have access to great academic advising as well as pre-professional advising. And you're gonna find that all of our programs really emphasize internships, service, and thinking about um, what you wanna do and the type of environment you thrive in. Uh, you'll also have fun in our campus. Um, students are guaranteed and required to live on campus at least those first two years, and most of our students stay pretty close or on campus after that. We have more than 130 different student clubs and organizations. Our well, Some of our biggest clubs are um, the e-gamers club. Um, we have the film club, the fashion club, the photography club. We have a student radio station on campus. Um, some of our fun events include um, fall ball, which I joke is a lot like college prom. It's a major venue in the city of Seattle. It's a really fun night to get dressed up and go out in the city. Uh, we also have Battle of the Bands and Quad Stock, which is our big spring music festival, as well as a lot of um, residence hall specific events um, and community events throughout the year. I'm gonna jump now quickly into the admissions process. Um, obviously, I'm here to connect with you and individually advise, um, but deep, know that we're deeply committed to holistic review. We wanna to get to know you. We are 100% test optional now and in the future. Um, however, it's your choice if you choose to submit them. Um, it does not make a difference on your admission, your merit scholarships or any other program. Um, we are early action and regular decision. Um, if you apply in November, you'll hear from us the end of December. And if you apply in January, you'll hear from us in early March. Obviously, we know that costs and affordability is a huge part of any decision. Um, you'll see here, our cost of attendance is expected to be about $65,970. With that said, 91% of our students receive financial aid and the average package is around $32,000. We have merit scholarships that are automatic at the time of admission, and they range from $8,000 to $25,000. We have a four-year tuition and enrollment scholarship called the Sullivan Leadership Award that I'd love to tell you more about, um, and a lot of other resources. So I hope this gives you a good introduction to Seattle U. I can't wait to get to know you um, and meet with you in the weeks, months, and years ahead. Good luck with your college search, and thanks for being here. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Seattle University. And uh, next up, we have Marquette University. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Patrick Korea Harker, and I am the Assistant Director of National Recruitment at Marquette University uh, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, so thank you so much for being here uh, this evening. Um, on central time. <laughs> um, so uh, Marquette University is a really beautiful campus uh, right in the downtown Milwaukee area. We are a Catholic Jesuit institution, uh, really providing you a, a lot of really small school resources and access, even though we have around 12,000 total students on campus. So you have about 8,000 undergraduate students and about 3,500 graduate students. So you're not gonna know everyone walking to and from class, but yet we have an average class size of 23. You really are going to get to know the peers in your classes, professors will get to know you by name and really be able to build a name for yourself. And that's the really the culture of Marquette that we really care uh, for you as a student. Uh, given our Jesuit uh, identity and our philosophy, we really are developing students uh, as their whole selves. Um, and so you'll find really strong uh, relationships with faculty and staff that uh, encourage you and promote uh, you on your on your path to, to reach your career goals and your academic uh, majors uh, in your curriculum. So we do have that 14 to one faculty student ratio with a plethora of different majors uh, to really choose from. Um, and so at Marquette, Inside the classroom, we really are going to provide you a lot of hands-on uh, experiences and learning. And, but it's also important to know that you're going to join a, a student body that 85% of our students do community service. So we really are men and women for others. Uh, we talk a lot about at Marquette uh, Cura Personalis, uh, which is Latin for care for the whole person. And that's experience that you're going to get as a student at Marquette. You're going to be cared for as an individual, really encouraged to grow in your academics um, and supported uh, to help reach your, your career goals. Fun city, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So we're not too far from, from Northern California where all of you live. Um, and so it's uh, about seven and a half miles away from our Milwaukee International or our uh, Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport. Uh, we're also just 70 miles 
79 miles uh, north of O'Hare in Chicago, so about an hour and a half, um, or a, a 32 hour car drive. <laughs> so totally up to you on how you wanna visit campus. Um, but we are home to uh, just over 250 uh, California students now. So uh, really gonna join a community that, that's growing in interest of students wanting to come out uh, to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We are right downtown Milwaukee and Milwaukee is the largest city within the state of Wisconsin. Um, so a lot to do, over half a million people live here uh, in Milwaukee. So you're gonna find our students are really engaged within the city not only with internships and co-ops, but building community off campus in local coffee shops, um, uh, really diving into the restaurants, shopping, musicals, uh, you name it, uh, our students are gonna participate in it. We're only a mile or a mile and a half away from Lake Michigan. Uh, so you will get a bus pass as a student that helps you get around the, the city really well. But our students are biking, walking, running uh, down into the, the lakefront, um, the beach life, sand volleyball tournaments uh, and things that we have. As an urban institution, if you really are looking at uh, an urban institution for where you wanna be for your four year college career, Marquette's campus is going to be unique in kind of two main ways. Uh, one is 90% of our freshmen and sophomores live on campus. So we are not a suitcase campus. Our students are really staying here, working here, living here, uh, really adding to that community and that culture uh, that we care so much about. And you'll also notice we're all one centralized location. So you don't have to walk down to uh, the city, uh, down to to uh, city blocks to get down to academic buildings. We really are gonna really provide that strong kind of campus community um, right here in downtown uh, Milwaukee with so much to do and so much to offer our students. Uh, additionally, our campus is really made up of seven academic college and we are all direct entry, uh, direct admit. So when you apply to Marquette, you have to choose your first or second choice major. Uh, you'll only be reviewed for those first or second choices. Um, and you will only have to be, a, if you're interested in, you have to apply directly to the nursing and, and that will be your, your sole choice. Um, new this year, uh, we are no longer rolling in. Um, but regular decision. So all students have to submit their application by December 1st, uh, and you'll find out your admission decision on December 21st. Uh, so we're going to look forward to celebrating those decisions with you on the 21st. Um, and every student will receive uh, our Pierre Marquette Award. It is a merit-based scholarship, really based off your holistic review of your file. So the grades of your classes, the rigor, uh, your essay uh, activities, um, and your application as in its entirety that you submit. And you can apply with either the Marquette application or our common application. Um, both are free. Uh, neither one is uh, preferred over the other. Um, and the essays are the same. Uh, so it's really up to your preference if you want to submit the common app or our Marquette application by that December 1st for full consideration for admission. Uh, but so much opportunities for academics, uh, but 91% of our students are employed full time within a year of graduating. And I look forward to getting to know you. Please reach out. Um, my email is there. I dropped it in the chat, as well as my direct phone line as well. And I look forward to getting to know you and connecting with you. And thanks again for being here this evening. Thank you so much, Marquette University. Next up, we have University of Portland. Hello, everyone. My name is Martin Williams. I'm the Associate Director of Admissions at the University of Portland. I'm not only the Bay Area rep, but I'm also a recovering Californian. So you all are my people. There's my email address. Please jot that down when you have a chance. I will be your go-to person from here on out. University of Portland, here's my uh, elevator pitch. Small Catholic liberal arts teaching university, like many of the universities in our group today. Unlike the others, we are a member of the whole congregation of Holy Cross, same folks that run Notre Dame out in Indiana. So think of us as the younger, more attractive sister of Notre Dame. And we believe in the quintessential liberal arts education, educating the head, the heart, as well as the hands. So we want our students to come away with habits that last them a lifetime well-rounded, well-read, well-spoken, uh, understanding historical context, understanding cultural literacy, having a strong sense of ethical and moral responsibility as well as sense of social justice. 
We have roughly under 4,000 undergraduate students. So this represents a lot of access for our students. Uh, average classroom size is under 25. Student faculty ratio is 11 to one. Where I think the University of Portland shines heads and shoulders above a lot of these other great institutions you're looking at is the professional opportunities that our students have uh, access to. It helps that we are in a robust city of Portland, Oregon, and we do expect all of our majors to have some sort of professional experience. Some of these are obvious, like internships for business majors and engineering majors, clinicals for nursing majors, uh, field experiences for education majors, but it might be a little bit unclear for College of Arts and Science students. And we have an internship coordinator and we have research opportunities for our students to partake in while they are an undergrad. We feel this would help them uh, be more competitive in the market after they graduate. You get an internship, the idea is to get a job offer from those internships. We have five different colleges at the University of Portland. The arts and sciences is the bread and butter of the University of Portland. The STEM, is, the STEM areas are the strongest at the university, uh, biology, chemistry, but also the uh, um, engineering and nursing programs as well. Speaking of which, we have four professional programs, accredited schools of business, education, engineering, as well as a direct entry nursing program. I really think uh, pound for pound will go toe to toe with any school you look at in terms of the quality of the education that you get. Uh, with small class sizes, a lot of individual attention, professional experiences, uh, our students come away very, very, very prepared. This is probably the number one reason why we have so many Californians at the University of Portland. Uh, currently, we do have more California students than we do students from Oregon. It is very much a residential campus, so uh, we are not urban. We are not in the middle of the madness. We're a little bit separated from uh, the downtown area. In fact, we have 150 acres all to ourselves on the north side of town, butted up, up against the Willamette River there. So we're isolated. And so our students don't have to dodge traffic to get to class. They don't have to worry about people meandering through our campus to get from one part of town to another part of town. This is our, uh, our entity right here. <clears throat> like I said, we do have more students from California. In fact, there is a reason why I spend so much time in California. I was at MIDI a couple weeks ago. I met several of you. Then we do have uh, approximately about 30 students from MIDI that are currently at the University of Portland. We do require our first year students to live on campus and you're welcome to live on campus all four years if you wanted to. It's a really tremendous community, very authentic. Our students really embrace that Oregon attitude of being a little bit more chilled out, laid back, welcoming. And you're gonna be involved in, uh, in uh, uh, activities that might be familiar to you in high school, but also will offer something new to you. And it could be academic, it could be cultural, athletic, religious. It could be involving diversity, equity, and uh, inclusion. Uh, the world is your oyster. And this is a way to kind of uh, view the world a little bit differently. We do have a number of goofy opportunities for students to partake in because college is fun. That's what it's all about. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned is that we are a Common App school. Our deadline is uh, January 15th. We would encourage students to apply before November 15th. I would encourage you to not only visit the university, but also keep tabs on us via uh, uh, social media. Uh, social media has really gained popularity among students over the last 18 months because it has been more difficult for students to visit the university. So that again is my elevator pitch. I thank you for your time and good luck with everything. Wonderful. And last but not least, we have Chapman University. Oops, <laughs> I clicked present first. Here we are. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Mateo. I am the admission counselor for your area at Chapman University. Um, on a fun note, I do remember visiting 
Um, Nitty on Friday, so some of you may remember me and may remember that I am also a Bay Area native. Uh, I did graduate from Bellarmine in 2016, so I was on the other side of the football field waving at you guys. <laughs> I also graduated from Chapman in 2020, um, so I definitely can talk a little bit about student experience. But um, to talk about campus size, we are located in the city of Orange in Orange County. A lot of people do get confused and say that we are located in Los Angeles. While that is, we are very close to Los Angeles, uh, we are not necessarily located in the city. Um, we are located about 45 minutes south with no traffic, and we say about two to four hours with traffic it can be brutal. We're also about two hours away from San Diego and about two hours away from Big Bear Mountain. And we're also about 20 minutes away from places like Disneyland, Angel Stadium, the Honda Center, and some of our closest beaches. Um, we always like to highlight our Chapman Challenge, and that's where students will go surfing in the morning and go snowboarding or skiing by night. And in terms of our campus size, we are home to over 7,500 undergraduate students with an average class size of 24 and a student faculty ratio of 13 to one. What that really means is you really do get the opportunity to have close relationships with your professors, which is one of the biggest reasons why I ended up choosing Chapman. Um, we're, we also have over 100 different programs that students can choose from, and over 50% of our student body does a study abroad experience. And that's because we offer so many different unique opportunities for students um, in terms of study abroad, not just your regular semester abroad experience, but that could also look like semester at sea or a two week travel, go travel course. Uh, one of our most popular travel courses that a lot of students love to do is our Galapagos Islands travel course. Um, this is kind of a picture of our general campus or our tallest piazza as we call it. A lot of tents are set up here. You'll see this is where a lot of kind of hangout happens, um, but a lot of professional networking happens in this space too. One, big part of Chapman University is our pre-professional portion. Um, and so a lot of um, different companies will come on Chapman's campus and specifically network with Chapman students. These are the list of organizations that really think Chapman first, meaning that these are the high, mean, meaning these are the highest employers of Chapman students. Um, on a fun note, Chapman is the largest employer of Chapman students and I'm one big testament to this. Um, but because we are so close, and uh, in terms of proximity to Disneyland, Disney is also our second largest employer of Chapman students. And that can range from a wide variety of positions, whether it's as simple as um, being Cinderella for the park or also being uh, on their marketing team or doing animation for them, business, education, whatever it might be. Um, so another part of our campus is our social aspect. Um, college is really fun. And we have over 190 different organizations and clubs on our campus. About a third of our campus is involved in Greek life. And the reason why Greek life is so attractive to students at Chapman is because a lot of them are really service-based. Um, each fraternity and sorority puts on an event each semester um, geared towards a service organization. Um, but also two thirds of our student population is not involved in Greek life. So you definitely don't need to be involved in that certain um, part of our campus in order to be involved in that social aspect. Some students are getting involved in civic engagement, our service projects or getting involved in the community outside. Um, our campus is expanding and we just opened the second wing to our brand new tech center for science and engineering. Um, so we're really excited about this. And we also um, are opening our brand new Sandy Simon Center for Dance, which will open in the fall of 2021. So we're really excited about these brand new facilities that we're bringing in. Um, in terms of our past fall class of 2021, um, our average GPA was about a 3.8 with an admission rate of 60%. Um, I do wanna highlight, just like a lot of in other institutions that mentioned um, this earlier in this presentation today, we are test optional. Um, oop, we are test optional, so you don't have to submit your test score in order to be considered for admission. And you also don't have to submit your test score in order to be considered for any merit scholarships. Um, in terms of what we focus on, we really focus on academics and context, which really means we really want to understand what does the rigor at your school look like and how does that relate to what your GPA might look like. Um, we really want to pull different pieces of information um, as they relate to your transcript. Um, so we don't want to just look at the transcript and call it there. We're really doing our investigating here. Um, we want to kind of see what, um, why you're passionate about your area of study, um, what kind of coursework have you taken that might lead to um, that narrative of why you want to study that subject, or if you're undecided, um, tell us a little bit about that. 
Um, and of course, we also really do value that community impact. We want to see what is your um, extracurricular involvement look like. We really do want to um, hear from you on the Chapman fit. That's also a really important part to us on what we focus on. Um, in terms of cost and affordability, um, it, our tuition can have a sticker price of about $72,000. Um, so I want to be really transparent with that, but I want to say that um, over 80% of our students are benefiting from some sort of financial aid from the institution, with our average need-based aid um, being $31,000. Um, our merit scholarships can also range from twelve to thirty-six thousand um, dollars. If you want additional information, um, feel free to follow us on social media. I'm happy to connect with you, um, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys might have. Thank you so much for joining. Wonderful, thank you, Chapman University. Um, we just have a few moments, uh, minutes left, so I actually want to invite all the reps back. Um, and I want to do a little round robin of just a single question. Um, and students, don't forget to use that Q&A feature. Um, you still have time to ask questions. Reps, be sure that you're checking the Q&A um, to, to be able to respond. Um, and let's do this one. What's one thing you want students to remember about your school? And we'll go in presenter order. Yeah, for us, um, we want you to remember when you're thinking about Pacific University, Oregon, it's the people, right? The people that are going to support you through the process, guide you, walk you through everything and help you grow. So definitely the people that make a school amazing. And we feel like that's our school. Thank you so much. I touched on that St. Mary's is one of the colleges that change lives and distinctively um, what I'd like to further share is that St. Mary's is the only California, only Catholic and only division one school that's renowned out of the 45 colleges that change lives. Um, this identity holds very true to me. Um, I graduated from a colleges that change lives school and working for a colleges that change lives school and advocating for the kind of transformational education that a liberal arts degree really offers is something that um, I deeply enjoy about my position. Um, so yeah, so many great things about St. Mary's, but that's definitely one of my favorites. I think for CLU, I'm going to go back to the for the best of both worlds, if you're looking for that city experience and the excitement that comes with being in a city, we have that, but we have everything that a small liberal arts also has to offer when it comes to community connection and support. I think for Mark at University, I really want to talk about uh, just the care that you'll receive as a student. And it's not only just care from staff members, but from your faculty, uh, but from the peers uh, that you have. And so you're you're going to really be able to build a community that is really caring for you, um, developing you uh, in your classes, um, and then helping you really go and set the world on fire in, in a lot of ways. And we do that uh, very intentionally with your hands-on academics, uh, friendship connections, and not only just sitting in the classroom and, and learning, but applying that uh, in a lot of our uh, simulation labs um, and our clinical is those internships and co-ops. So it really are going to be cared for um, and would love to have you at Marquette. Uh, at Portland. Oh, I think your, your, your sound's not working. I'm going to, I'm going to, sorry, you're, we're having some issues with your sound, so I'm going to mute you. That worked. Okay. Our Nikes, which are both, both uh, based in Port of Very Bad Connection. Sorry about that. Okay, awesome. Um, and then we'll go over to Chapman. Hi, everyone. So I think one thing that I really want students to remember about your school is honestly one of the biggest reasons why I chose Chapman um, is how deeply the professors really do care about their students. Um, the most important part about this is they really do care not just about your academic life, but also your um, professional and personal life as well. Excellent. I think that 
that was really awesome hearing about all your schools. So many great opportunities um, and students. I really don't think you can go wrong. I, I think you, you know, follow your heart, see what you like. Um, but there are, truly are so many great options out there, um, as you can tell from hearing from these reps. I wanna thank all, our, all of our reps for presenting tonight. Those were excellent presentations. Thank you to all the students and parents who are attending this session tonight. We thank you for being here. Um, as you click out of uh, out of this session, you're going to see a very quick five question survey um, that'll pop up. So we'd love for you to take that. Um, and uh, don't forget that you can actually watch this recording again at strivescan.com slash Archbishop Mitty. Um, so thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. And we'll hope hopefully our paths cross again. Good night.